Do you like mounts? I like mounts! Mounts are a cool way to satisfy that collector's gland you have buried deep inside. I'm Flame from Marcellian Online and today I will list 10 of the rarest mounts that you can find in the black market and also be able to obtain them in-game. After 14 years, the game has accumulated quite a few number of mounts and this is the first thing I started to collect once I switched from private servers to <clears throat> real WoW. I made a video about the new mounts added in Tides of Vengeance and you can check that out if you're interested. Since there are so many mounts out there, I didn't want to make a 45 minute video listing all of them, but I did find something interesting. The black market sells quite a few of them. I never looked at the whole list of mounts that you can buy from the black market auction house before because I always thought I won't have the gold for them. But browsing through the list of mounts I realized that the majority can still be found within the game itself and this is what I'm going to talk about today. The 10 rarest mounts that you can find in the game and also in the black market auction house. I will list them from the most common to the rarest but if I missed something hit the comment section below and let me know. I will avoid mounts that have an unconfirmed drop rate like the Fiery Warhorse from Old Karazhan since it's mathematically impossible to place them within a ranking system based off of confirmed drop chance percentages. That doesn't mean that they are rarer or more common, it just means that we have no freaking clue what the drop rate is. Starting off at number 10 with the least rare one, we have the Reigns of the Onyxian Drake. This bad boy drops from Onyxia in... Onyxia's Lair. The drop chance is 1.45% and it's probably one of the easiest to farm since the rate is just super small. I actually farmed this back in wads and got it after a few weeks. I didn't farm it non-stop though. I had about 3 alts and I parked them all outside of Onyxia's Lair and on reset day went in 5 minutes and killed the boss. I'm not big on farming specific items but this one being so easy to do I recommend just parking some alts outside her raid. It takes you a few minutes tops with each alt and you only have to do it once per week. I am a big fan of dragon mount so this one is one of my favorites. Next one on the list at number 9 we have another dragon, Experiment 12-B. This guy has a 1.3% drop chance from Ultraxian and it comes in a cache of items after defeating the boss. Not much to say about this. Yeah, it's a dragon, but not one of my faves. The color palette makes it too Disney for me, but hey, I can probably count on one hand the number of people I saw using this mount in all of the years I've been playing WoW. Climbing the ladder, we get to the number 8 spot and we are breaking the 1% drop chance. At 8, we have Mimiron's head with 0.99% drop chance. This bad boy drops from Yogg Saron in Ulduar and for the longest time has been the only robot head mount. <laughs> this is such a weird way to phrase that sentence for a fantasy MMO. Of course, now in BFA we have another robot head mount that can be made by engineers, but this guy is special. It never dropped for me and I did use to farm Ulduar a bit back in the day until I got my RM bound Proto Drake. Speaking of Proto Drakes, at number 7 we have the Reigns of the Blue Proto Drake clocking in at 0.93% chance to drop from Scotty the Ruthless in Utgard Pinnacle. And if I remember correctly, it drops in Heroic only. Proto Drakes are usually notorious for their rarity and although there are a lot more that are rare, this is the rarest of them all in this list. Although the farming method is not that hard actually. Seeing as it drops from a heroic dungeon, you can farm it multiple times per week. If someone knows this, post it in the comments, but I believe the lockout for this heroic is 1 hour, although standardly heroics have a 1 day lockout. I'm not sure if Odgard was updated to 1 day as well, but it shouldn't be longer than that anyway. Close in drop chance, we have the number 6 spot, taken by the reigns of the thundering onyx cloud serpent at a 0.92% drop chance. This one drops from Hulon in the Timeless Isle. Hulon is a rare with 30-60 minute spawn time and you can actually loot it multiple times a day. 
There have been confirmed facts about the mount dropping multiple times per day and even multiple times per character, which is kind of weird. Again, this seems to be an easy farm and to be fair, most of the mounts on the list have easy farming methods. Most of them. Climbing higher on the rankings, things are starting to tighten. Just like my sphincter when I am checking new patch notes for my class. At number 5 we have a classic. It's a classic guys. Death Chargers Reigns. All Baron Rivendare has been dropping this baby since vanilla, but only to 0.8% of the people. Actually that's mathematically wrong, but math makes life confusing, so let's just say that the drop chance for this is 0.8%. That means that once you loot the boss, there's a 0.8% chance you will see the mount and doing 120 runs doesn't guarantee that you will get it. You can find good old Barry in the Stratholm dungeon, the Undead Quarter. Oh, what's... was that? No. Yes! Number 4, Invincibles Reigns. Dropping from the Lich King with a 0.79% chance. Okay, I have to admit, I am superficially excited about this one. It's a cool mount, don't get me wrong, but it's not one I ever see myself farming. I usually play beefy characters like Orcs, totally not overcompensating, and horses don't look that good on my green boys. But the mount is one of the rarest in the game, but clearly not the rarest, not even on this list. The story behind the mount is amazing and endearing and if you haven't read it already, I urge you to pick up the book Arthas and give it a whirl. Before unveiling the top 3 mounts, I just want to showcase my favorite one of the rarest mounts that you can only find in the black market auction house. And this one is the Zulian Tiger. It's been in the game since vanilla and I think it has been taken out in Kata, if I'm not mistaken. Stranglethorn Vale was my favorite zone in the game and this mount just screams that. There are three mounts that can only be obtained through the black market auction house and if you want to know what they are, stay tuned until the end of the video. And we are hitting the last few with the number three spots taken by the Vitreous Stone Drake dropped by Slab Height in the Stone Core Dungeon. This guy has a 0.67% chance to make you happy. I'm not much into the stone dragons, but this one I actually like. Never got it of course, but never farmed stone core too much either. Keeping the trend with cataclysm drakes and closing in on the top spot, we have the drake of the north wind with a drop chance of 0.66%. This build drops from Alteris in the vortex pinnacle. Wish there was more to say about this one, but it's just a standard drop from a standard dungeon. And the last dungeon drop on the list. Drum roll, please. Number one, the Riding Turtle. Some of you may recognize this one from the trading card game, but some of those mounts made it into the game as loot and this is one of them. This magnificent beast has a, wait for it, 0.3% chance to drop. Yes, significantly lower than anything else on this list. The only way to get it aside the black market auction house is to fish for it. Yeah, in your garrison. Yeah, fun times, right? Basically, you will need your fishing shack to be at level three. And once you have that, throw the frost deep minnow to attract the cave dweller murloc. Kill it, and that bad boy has a chance to make you incredibly, incredibly sad because it's 0.3% chance. And with this, we have our top 10 rarest mounts that you can loot in the game and also get from the black market. So if you are tired of your 100th farm, camp the black market and spend 10 million gold to get one of these babies. But that's not all. As promised, there are four mounts that can only be found in the black market auction house. So you could say they are the rarest with a whopping 0% drop chance. The Zulian Tiger was one of them. The other three are 
the Core Hound, which I actually have. This hot stuff dropped during the 10 year WoW anniversary where we had Molten Core Time Walking. It had a 100% drop chance at the time, but now you can only get this in the Black Market Auction House. The Tiger and Raptor were drops from Zolgarub that were removed, and the Proto Drake was a reward mailed to you by Alex Straza back in Wrath. And with this we conclude our list. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you think I've missed anything. Some of these mounts can be pretty old. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Twitter, where we keep people up to date with everything that we do. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel and join the community. I've been Flame from Marcelino9 and I will see you guys in the next one.